Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where today we're going to continue trying to get this place more self-sufficient. Right now it's doing okay, but that's because we dug up a lot of algae. But a lot of the algae has stopped working, so the base should be depressurizing at this point. But there was a couple of stuff over here. We didn't actually get a full look. We'll, what we'll do is we'll build this ladder all the way up so that we can get a good look. Also, that'll allow us to get this wolferite right, right here. So, and this is snow, right? No, polluted ice. Okay, good. So that will not fall as I dig it out. So grab all that wolf right. Is there any more over here? Yes, there's a couple on the walls. But not going to have them dig quite over there yet because I want to expand this way. Dig that out. We're going to go off in this direction because I want to see what is over here. And we will build, say, a ladder right here so we can get these slicksters. Although I do believe we are at our limit as to how many we can support at the moment because as you can see the carbon dioxide is fairly low so they're not going very far out because there's not really a lot of it in there it's a lot of polluted oxygen though oh wow that's a lot of oxygen <laughs> but yeah so basically I think the only thing sustaining it is that the pressure up here should be pushing back through if it is it's moving very slowly because as you see these little cloud markers aren't really moving that well oh wait in here it's not even connected to in here <laughs> oops but the idea being that yeah why do we have a door right here anyways I don't see much reason for that but yeah but yes, they will do construction first, so they are building this up before they dig off in that direction, so. But, let's see if there's anything else we can try to improve around the base. How's the natural gas? Not enough, as always, but that is okay. How's the fertilizer doing? It's doing fine, the algae distillers are working we're not getting any we don't have any coal because the we only have one hatch <laughs> but yeah hopefully the I oh good 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 and you tile on a nine please come out of there real quick you were out of there for just a second. I want you to come back out. Oh gosh, and for him to come back up, it's going to take him, well, some precise accuracy. Nope, that is not the accuracy we were looking for. Nope. And see, it's easier for them to go down. Oh, perfect. Can we build that before he... Come on, before he goes down. Please, someone. <laughs> oh, perfect, perfect. If you could build it at the same time. Oh, wait, no, you're not. You Did you just drop the materials? Okay, it's set to be built, but someone needs to build it. Right? No, it's still waiting. Oh, because that one guy dropped the materials he was bringing up. How irritating. You're just grabbing slime, of which is going to disappear by the time you get up there. You're coming up to pick up slime. Perfect. No. You just picked up slime. Come on, people. This is set to a nine, correct? Oh, well. Four. 
Or do we have idle? We have idle, so it won't matter. They're just picking up slime anyways. And see, this is the problem that with the slime is that they will be distracted by it. So, there's not enough suits to really get this done while they're being distracted by it. And the thing is, is that they're idle. So, they're operating things that are lower in priority. Because just... Well, actually... No, they should be, first and foremost, building this, though, right? Oh, and here he goes. Can you build it? Oh, come on, please. Come on, someone, build it, please. Nope. Nope. Ugh. Okay, now we gotta wait for him to get out. Which means that anyone coming up to build it... ...needs to go elsewhere. Until he jumps out of that area. I'm sorry, but... You guys, come on. You gotta come up... I know, I know, riveting gameplay, but I gotta watch this, unfortunately. Yes, yes, come on. Someone? Someone? Bueller. Going back to Bueller. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now that we have them locked in there... Oh, and... Lock, please. Someone. <laughs> Anyone. Quickly. No. Open. <laughs> They're just not quick enough to get into there. Although they, it is floating back into there. Now lock, please. Please. It just takes a long time for the dupes to get up here, too, so... Well, darn it. No, you gotta... Maybe? Before they go through? Yes! Okay. Okay, so... Now both of them are in here, which is nice. Now... If only I could have them enter through a way that does would not allow them to escape. So, actually, if I had built this one over, I could have done that with some sort of water lock. But, oh well. They're not floating terribly low anyways. Because most of the gas is up towards the top, thankfully. We have designed this for that to be how it needs to be. Okay, so... Everything is kind of working. Which is good. Now then, have they been digging down here? They have been. There is another oil reservoir, but we don't have enough water production for that, that's for sure. But that did overfill this. Oh no, it broke through up there. Hmm. Okay. Can we mop? Okay, so somebody will sit there for quite some time mopping, but it means that we can't get this these two slicksters out of here either, unless we pump the liquid out, which kind of sucks, but means that we'll have to set up a hamster wheel. That's fine. The edge of the map is just right there. We do have some polluted water sitting right there. But... What we're going to do is we're going to actually build over this, just like the other one. Actually, it would be better if we canceled the build right there. We built all the way over, and we put the ladder right there. But, digging through there, and the idea is it's just a nice flat w pathway for them to be able to run along. So, do germs not die in heat? That's something that needs to be a thing, is that germs can die in heat. So. Well, they are cleaning it up. <laughs> There's going to be a lot down there. 
And it's going to just keep flowing, too, until they mop up all of it. So it's going to it's gonna be a moment. But I do want this way somewhat clear. Not to mention transferring the oil over here will be pretty good. Oh, gosh, we're out of oxygen down here, huh? Yep, <laughs> we're pretty much out of oxygen down there. Hmm. We could have this one separate into this as well, which might be a good idea. We do. We would need to make it one ways so that it didn't mess with all the other systems. So, and that should get anybody idle working. Okay, who got themselves stuck? And why don't you have your suit on? How did you get out here without a suit? Do you have a suit? Oh, your suit ran out of air. Well, Lindsay, I have to say it, but you kind of messed yourself up. Like, how did you run out of air? Assigned. You do have an Atmos suit. Details. I don't think we can get her out of there. Not quickly enough, at least, to save her. Like, we do have up there, but we need... What? Well, where's the dupe checkpoint? Let's see here. Duplicate checkpoint. Can you be sideways? No, but you can change direction, which... I think it would be that way that I would want. But the idea being is that maybe... Oh! Well, that might be the reason. Go dig that up. You do still have your Atmos suit, actually. There you go. Okay, so that's what the problem was. It looked like she didn't have her Atmo suit, though. Oh, she doesn't. She has to take off the helmet to breathe every now and then. Okay. But, we got her out. Oh, and they did get all of this built. They did indeed. The gas pipe right there needs to be deconstructed. And gas pipe... Right there. Do right there. And then that should allow more oxygen to come down here, which will mean that the vents won't be able to pressurize the base quite as well, but ooh, food shortage. See, that's what I was thinking would happen. It looked like we were building food, though. It seemed. Huh. Stress is actually really low in the base, thankfully. Temperature. This is never changing. Actually, I was thinking we need a Weaswort in here. That would help out tremendously. And I think we'll set one of these ones down lower and then uproot the Weaswort. Which side is doing better in terms of temperature? Actually, this side. Which is weird because it has the warmer thermal regulator on it. Hmm. Not to mention, to my knowledge at this point, we have no more Weaswort. But we shall see if there's another ice biome off in this direction. So, let's have all that dug out next. They're still mopping this up. Can make it a bit easier by saying all, as much as possible now. We can get multiple dupes down here mopping. But rather he decides in, to go and dig. <laughs> but... 
excuse the car alarm outside if that is audible. But... Okay, then. <laughs> I had to go check the car alarm myself, so... I did pause the game, though, so nothing really has changed since then. And they are mopping all of this up. We can get another creature, though. Hmm. I wanted these slicksters, but... And I got all of the ones over here, correct? Yes, all the ones that I have dug out at the moment. So, we'll put this over here and hope that they still are going over there. Okay, I think that's good enough. We can cancel. It'll pour off in this uh, on this side. Ooh, did it cancel the... Oh, I accidentally canceled the trap because I hit cancel. Okay, so go right there. That will eventually drip off, which will be good. Of course, I could get some more if I dug that out. Hmm. But yeah, right now what we're looking at is I don't think we would have enough water to have an oil going. So, yeah, and as you see, the base is depressurizing because we don't have enough slime. And trying to get more poofs in here, it's going to be quite the hassle, I would say. In fact, I might turn this into a door and we'll try to make a pathway through there that goes to some poofs. There's a poof over there that we can make a pathway to get. Hmm. Maybe some mesh tiles to let this liquid pour into here. There's a little bit of water on top of that, so it's being a little weird, but... And I did dig it out bigger, so the air should be moving in this direction. Okay, that's oxygen. Oh, is it pumping oxygen at the moment? A little bit, not a lot, but... It is getting some oxygen at the moment. So, once this oxygen layer clears, the polluted oxygen should be in full force again. So, but I do like the idea. So, we're going to change this out for a door. Deconstruct that. And we'll make a door right there. And then flooring across because I want this as flat as possible. Then start digging out this way. That's a lot of gold amalgam. <laughs> so... And I think I will dig through here. And from... And I'll just build a roof as I pass. In fact, that's what I need to be doing. In fact, there needs to be... A way up into this. Because this is kind of our preload chamber. That I'm going to try to do. So... Actually, let's get a couple ladders here. And dig out that and then what we'll do is we will do a set of doors because the poof will eventually well no because this it will then turn back into we'll have basically this one on auto and the rest open, and as it moves over, I'll try to lock the door behind it. Or close the door behind it, at least. So. And that way, it kind of pushes the poof into the this area. And once we get enough poofs, we will be able to just have a decent slime production. Starvation... 
Oh, that's right. We are looking at a food shortage right now. He is going to pick up that frost bun, though, so he should be eating. Um, not much we can do about the starvation. Just hope that some of the sleet wheat grows in. <laughs> not really much else we could do. Although, over here... If we dug that out, and we dug over, we could get to these and harvest that. We actually can get up here to what it looks like. That's snow. Let's dig that out before I dig out the area beneath it. Uh, too much pressure. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, I don't want the polluted oxygen anywhere else, so I'm not sure what to do about that pressure. Let's look at utilities real quick. How many, how much wolferite do we have? Not a lot. Does it not count this because it's way out here? It must not because we have much more wolferite than that or much less wolferite than that. So if you're free, go mop that up. Or pick that up. Okay, now that that snow's dug up, we can safely dig those out without having to worry. And we will set those to auto harvest. Even though the pressure's not good in the area. I'll have to figure out a way to alleviate that. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much way to alleviate that, though. Unfortunately, we have some sleet wheat grain over here. Let's get some people to sweep up those sleet wheat grains. So, basically, the ice is melting into the polluted oxygen, and it's causing problems. See, even this got filled up. Holy cow. Oh, no. Just a lot of the water licked or solidified. That's what happened. Because <laughs> I did dig that out, I'm pretty sure. Interesting. Well. Oh, dear. Well, polluted water is not very effective for oil getting. Hmm. I'll ask someone to mop up over here as much as they can. I guess not. Okay, well, the edge of the map is just right there, so... I do want to get to that. Let's dig out all the way to there. They'll get to it. Eventually. Hmm, this polluted water is an issue, though. And really, the only way we're going to get enough oil ever, it seems, is if we, or it's if, first of all, this heats up too much, so it turns off, and, and that these start running enough that it warms up this room, so, <laughs> to keep this off. They are remaining pretty cold, though, which is good. Hmm. Three unreachable food. There's still a food shortage. Oh, but we have plenty of sleet wheat grain. Why are you not on a nine? I want all the food cooked whenever it's possible. Oh, we should have gotten that wheeze wart in. Oh, but it's cooling it off so nice up here. Yeah. Oh, well. You, lower priority, or high priority, copy setting to you. You, lower, uproot. So that way, they, they'll they uproot it, and then they'll move the Weezwort into the refrigeration thing. And hopefully, they'll get the sleet wheat growing. That it'll help cool off that area. So... 
if we could get this done, please. Thank you. <laughs> so we have n very little power at the moment, too, which is kind of a problem as well. Can I get the bottle? Thank you. Empty. But if we can get this farm going, because that's been the biggest problem, then maybe we will we can have enough food because remember I did the math three levels would be able to feed 12 people so we actually might actually need another level but <laughs> but people grabbing sleet wheat grain and the temperature I hope is cooling down but that's going to take a while so we will leave that be for the time being see if Anything else is getting done as we were wanting. The sweeping is getting done. We have some iron down here. <laughs> and are they building off in this direction? No. Okay, well. Oh, we must have trapped one of them. Oh, and this... Excuse me. Hiccuping. This kind of solved itself to some degree. Oh, they are actually coming over here to build. Yay. Oh, careful. You're going to entomb yourself. Okay. Six. All those. <laughs> New dupes are available. Flooding. What's... Yeah, there's... Something's flooding. The coal... A coal generator and some algae is not... Does not have anything, which is fine. That's understandable. And I actually think that these can be set, maybe one of them set to a six, because they do kind of put pressure into the base, so. Because right now we do get rid of a lot of material from the base. Well, maybe not as much as it would seem, but... But yeah, we're feeding the slicksters as much as we can all of the carbon dioxide that the base produces other than from the dupes is actually coming down here so yeah there's nothing really in there that I wish to rummage for they are taking that out okay everything looks to be going pretty well oh my goodness and look at how much petrol we just produced Oh my goodness, that is amazing. And that was from how much oil they produced overnight, I would think. So. But anyways, we can turn the... The polymer press off at any time too, if we so desire. Because we can just set that thermometer to be unforgiving in how it produces, so... But, I do want a way to clean this off, but see, this is the weird thing about liquids. This has polluted water on top of it, and that's preventing it to from spilling over, which is really weird, is it not? Let's mop up that. Let's try to get something going here. Maybe if I mesh tile right here... Then we can have a mop order on top of it. And that should get a lot of the polluted water. Maybe, hopefully, allowing the oil to drip off. So. But we have to wait for them to get all of that done. So is this moppable? Oh, that is moppable. Is this moppable? No, too much liquid. <sighs> oh, that's moppable. Interesting. Oh no, that's right. We do have a lot of oil down here, though. If we set on a higher priority... Oh, that is actually on a pretty decent priority. Huh. I don't know why more people aren't doing that. But, but as you see, the, all of the suits are actually getting a decent amount of oxygen now. So... That's good, because they were actually quite needing it. The pressure in the base is negligible. <laughs> It could be better. They're finally getting to some of this done. 
but yeah okay so we'll be getting poofs more poofs in a little maybe we do need to bioscan some of these which will be irritating we'll probably have them go from down here but and they got all that done good 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 the wolf right is probably with us so we can actually I'm gonna actually lay these down right now and okay it does go into that overlay so I can make three right no I can make two well that's not effective is it okay there is one there but not there one two yeah, two, <laughs> like I said. But then when we open this up, the thermal nullifier hopefully will be able to work a little bit better because it'll be cooling off more of the shift plates. Shift plates are a lot cooler than they used to be. We do have some... I, I'm hoping in here is cooling off to some degree because this Weezwar is doing a fantastic job. You can see all the dark blue now being generated over there. So hopefully more of this will be growing here soon. But I am afraid that we are out of time for this episode. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like as it does help the channel. And do subscribe if you're not already to catch the next episode as it comes out. We might put more Weezwar in here to ensure that this cools off faster. So that we can actually rely on this as our primary means of food. But for now, that is it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And we, I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye.